Greetings everybody, Nick DiVirgilio here and these are the Tama HP 900 Iron Cobra Power Glide Kick Drum Pedals in the Blackout Edition. Let's go. There's cymbal stands, snare stands, hi-hat stands, it's all top-notch stuff. Now the Iron Cobra is a pedal that's been around for a while. They sort of reimagined it. Just keep, they keep making it better as years go by, right? A lot of great players play these pedals. The first thing about this pedal is it's black. None more black. That's my Spinal Tap reference for the day. It just, it's a cool vibe to look down at your feet and see this black pedal. It's rock and roll. If, you know, it looks cool. It gives you vibe and inspiration. Let's get into the details of the pedals right now. The first thing we're gonna get into is the Power Glide Cam. It's right here. You'll see it's not completely round, okay? It's got a little bit of a bend here. The chain is resting on it nicely. It's about 40% lighter than their previous cams and it really gives you a fast and powerful stroke towards the kick drum and it gets faster as it gets closer to the kick drum head. The next thing that makes these pedals so cool and they also put this on their Speed Cobra pedal as well, it's the Cobra coil right underneath the foot plate here. And what this does is whenever you press down and you let your foot off of the pedal, it gets that foot plate back to its normal position really quickly. And again, it just makes for a smoother feeling pedal whether you're playing heel down or heel up. Next thing we'll talk about is the swivel spring tight. All that is is this whole contraption right here, the spring assembly. Lots of pedals have their spring assembly set where it doesn't move at all. The rocker at the top is what moves back and forth when you move the pedal back and forth. Well, Tama made their swivel spring tight, which swivels at the bottom. It's not a lot. It doesn't kind of make a huge movement back and forth. It's just slight. Even that slight motion gives the pedal more smooth action and smooth feel. See it going back and forth down here at the bottom? It's not much, but it makes a huge difference. You can adjust the spring tension rather easily. There's a locking nut on the top and the bottom of the assembly, so just loosen the top nut. Now the bottom nut is notched, so it locks in place at every turn. Press down, turn, and about like a half turn at a time, it'll lock back into place, so you get your spring tension where you want. Lock the top nut and you are good to go. Another amazing thing they did, I think it's amazing, they did this both on the Iron Cobra and the Speed Cobra pedals, is the Speedo ring. Now, old school pedals have a nylon ring up here that the spring attaches to. They made this Speedo ring. What a great invention this is. On, off. Makes it so you can put your pedal away at the end of the night super easily. It's back on. And it does, once it's attached, it does not move. It is smooth as silk. The Speedo ring, the spring assembly, and the Cobra coil underneath the foot plate all three of those together make for an amazing pedal. The next thing we'll get into is the Power Strike Cobra Beater. They gave really cool names to all the parts on these pedals. It's a smaller diameter beater, but it's thicker in the beater head. It just gives you a nice, precise sound, and it does feel good. You know, all, all of the parts go together to make a really nice feeling pedal. Let's go back to the drum set now so you can hear what the beater sounds like on the head just by itself, no snare wire buzz, no nothing. Here we go. You can also adjust the beater angle in case you have a kick drum that really tilts towards you or away from you if that's even possible. Again, you can adjust the beater. So you just take your key, loosen the top, and you'll see it adjusts about that far and goes right back to straight on. Tighten her up, you're ready to rock. The next thing we'll talk about that just adds to the smoothness of this pedal is the back of the pedal, the hinge guard block. They made this two pieces rather than one, and also inside here is the oils bearing hinge. Another thing that this does is that in some pedals, especially old school pedals, the foot plate would move back and forth a little bit when it connected to the heel plate back here in the back. Well, this doesn't move at all. This whole assembly that they designed makes it so that the foot plate doesn't move at all and adds to the smoothness from the back of the pedal all the way up to the top of the beater. Another cool thing about this pedal, which is also on the Speed Cobra as well, is the Paraclamp 2 Pro. It's a really cool invention because it makes it so this pedal will go on any kick drum hoop. Sometimes, especially if you have older drums, the kick drum hoop could be pretty thick. Well, this Paraclamp 2 Pro will attach to any of those thicknesses. You loosen it here with the wing nut. Also, right here you'll see a Another locking nut. Every half turn, it goes, it's notched, so it locks in place. Once you get the pedal onto the hoop, turn this locking nut first, tighten it up, and then make the precision tightness, really tighten it down with the wing nut. 
It's rubber lined here at the bottom. And once it's on your kick drum pedal, it never moves. It's a really cool invention. So I mentioned earlier how easy it is to tear this pedal down at the end of your gig at night and pack it away. Let me show you real quickly because both the double and the single pedal come in these amazing hard cases, but you can put this on a plane and uh, have it go in the hold with the rest of the luggage and your pedal will stay safe and secure. This is it's really hard plastic. It's a nice case. Let me show you how easy it is to put away. So they molded the inside to fit the pedal exactly. Just take the Speedo ring off like that. And what this does is it makes it so you don't have to take the beater off of the pedal. Okay, that's what you have to do with a lot of other pedals out there. Pull it back towards the foot plate, set it inside just like that. Close your case, put it in your car and go home. Before we say goodbye today in this video, let me show you a couple quick things with the double pedal configuration. All of the things I talked about in this video today are exactly the same on the double pedal. Plus you get a spring assembly on the other side with the speedo ring, take it off just like that. You of course get your linkage, which is super smooth. The same block and hinge on the auxiliary pedal, the same power glide cam, all of these things make for this one of the best double pedals out there. Another cool feature about this pedal, it's small, but it just adds to the professional nature of this pedal is on the auxiliary pedal right here. This clamp with your prongs that stick out, make it so the left pedal, if you're playing hard blast beat music, some kind of metal, whatever, you're really using your left foot a lot, the pedal will never slide forward. The spikes on the auxiliary pedal really do the job. And this pedal is just as easy to put away at the end of the night. You get a bigger case that fits the double pedal. Again, molded to fit it exactly. You even get instructions if you need them. To put it away at the end of the night, just grab your key. First thing you do is take off your linkage. One. Now the linkage fits on the top of the case right here. Just push it in, it's set. For your main pedal, take off the speedo rings on each. You see the beaters just go back and lie on the foot plate. Put in your main pedal. Take the auxiliary pedal, put it right next to it. Close her up. And there you go, everybody, the Tama HP 900 Iron Cobra Power Glide kick drum pedals in this killer blackout edition. If you want any more information about this Tama product, these Tama products, or any other Tama product, just contact your Sweetwater sales engineer. Thanks so much for watching. Thanks for hanging out with me today, everybody. Make sure you like, you comment, and you subscribe. Click right here for more videos just like this one, or go to sweetwater.com for all your music instrument and pro audio needs.